and gentlemen, welcome to Connect 36 Presents The Bearded Kings. I am King Bear in the building. Comedian CJ Travis, what's up? Big Tone. Big Tone in the build. Comedian CJ Travis, we're down one, but we're still going to rock and roll with it. All right, so fellas, finally, we're getting it going. We're starting to get everybody back. What's going on this week? How's everybody been doing? Uh, trying to get over a little cold, but everything's good. You know, Georgia's weather's back and forth. It's cold one day, and hot 70, 80 degrees the next. So Bipolar. bipolar Straight up tomorrow. bipolar weather. Word, word. Yeah. yeah. That and sound like this nigga got COVID over here. So I don't got no damn COVID. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, fellas, um, we're going to start doing something a little different. <clears throat> Excuse me. And every time you say that, he hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I got to challenge you, fellas, man. We got to keep it fresh. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give us, uh, for this week, and we'll go off and we'll do other ones, but for this week, I'm going to give us a topic, mm -hmm. and we're going to discuss that topic. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is completely unrehearsed. Uh, they have no idea what the topic's going to be, so it's going to go with what it's going to go with. All right? Sounds good, ready man. To do let's it? roll. Let's roll. All right. Let's get to it. Okay. So, the topic we're going to start off with today. All right, check this out. You mistakenly see your boy's current, whether it's a spouse, a uh, significant other, long-term girlfriend. Somehow, you you mistakenly see her completely butt naked. Do you tell him? Do you compliment her and him? Or do you take it to the grave? Compliment her and him? What does that mean? So, say you're staying at, at <coughs> Big Tone's house. Right. <laughs> <laughs> say, say you stay at Big Tone's house. And, and his significant other or whoever, you know, comes out <coughs> butt-ass naked. Uh -huh. Right? You see her. She doesn't see you, so there's no freak. <coughs> but you see. You see all, all the morning glory. All right. all right? Now, when you do that, how do you handle the situation? Do you... Do you see her, and do you make a noise to let her know she's there, or <clears throat> do you go back to your boy and say, "Hey, man, everything was innocent, but yo, I saw your girl, <laughs> and yo, she looks good." Like you complimenting him and her on her looks, and she didn't see me see her. Right. I ain't saying shit. The fuck up. I'm, I'm what the fuck am I muddy oh, muddy in the waters? Man? But how is it muddy in the waters? I am inciting the riot by giving them information <laughs> they nobody's privy to. Yep. Nobody knows. I'm taking it to the grave. Easy. But you never know if somebody got like uh, Amazon boxes that have cameras in the house or if they got cameras and all of a sudden it's you, you out there to creeping. Just technology. <laughs> is it? But that's your boy though. Yeah. Like you're not going to say nothing? Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. If I say something Right, let's just say it's one of you fellas. I see your, you know your 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 loved one. I know you guys' personalities. Mm -hmm. If I say, "Yo, everything was innocent. She didn't see me. She didn't know I was there. I was just walking the the, the hallway, what have you," mm -hmm. and I saw her butt naked, but you know it was innocent, bro, and I walked away. Mm -hmm. You gonna get upset <laughs> at her? There's gonna be an argument. I gotta call nine one one. Why were you butt naked? Woo! Shout out to all your boys. You know what I mean? Because right. I'd be like, what the f <laughs> You and my dude might pop the the, 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 the female doll. It's like, why why are you floating naked? I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? I just, it just, it just, let it go. That, that's what I'm saying. Let it go. Nah. It's, it's, it's a lose lose for everybody. Yeah. All right. So. Because cause <clears throat> they ain't going to be upset. There's an argument that she's going to be mad. You can't be welcome to the house no more. Right. It's, uh, it's a for everybody. You know what I mean? But you don't, you don't, so you don't even tell him. No, because if it's one of you guys, y'all gonna be upset. Y'all gonna go off on your, on your female while you walk in the house naked. But you, then maybe that needs to be discussed. Because if you, it's her house. I'm not gonna be mad at her for walking well, around. First of all, house. it's your boy's house too. You know what I'm saying? So if she's doing that, I mean, how do you know your boy ain't like, yo, I done told you about, you know, doing that? 
Mm-hmm. And now your boy can be like, yo, for real, stop doing that. And it, it, it helps him out. But if you don't know, then that means you come back over there again, she can do it again. And then what if you get caught? It's a double-edged sword, son. Right. So, I'm confused. So the nigga's visiting or he lived there? No, he, he, he's visiting. Saying you you went to visit Malcolm, for example. And, right. And I, no, yeah. I'm not going to. First of all, I'm you not going to tell me, dog. I'm not going to go upstairs. I'm thinking the places where I would see a nigga would have to be upstairs. I'm not going upstairs to go see that. You have so many places downstairs for me to to be at. For me to go go upstairs will be makes no sense. That's what I'm trying to. All right. So I'm what what, what if Malcolm says, "Yo, do me a favor. Can you grab my two box? I left it right by the front of my my bedroom." And she and the door in. door is wide open. She, I guess she, she comes out the shower. Or something. And obviously she sees me at that point. She no, her back her. is turned. Let's just say her back is turned. She's you know, and all you're doing is picking it up and going, oh, and walking away. <laughs> what you gonna do, dog? You you just gonna keep that with you? See, now I gotta worry about these dudes over here taking mental video pictures and shit. No, I'm just I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just I'm like, 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 oh, I remember. Nah, no, no, Cliff, he'll take his phone out. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was, I was, I was <laughs> he was like, Google Drive, I, save. I don't know save. how that shit would make sense. Like how how that would work. So we just I just be like, yo, yo, dip out. Well, in my situation, you know, mine, she she likes birthday suit mm-hmm. stuff. Like, it don't matter. Upstairs, downstairs, whatever. So it's possible. Yeah, but if she knows you have guests coming over, she's not, coming she's not going to come down in yeah. a birthday suit. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Right. But what if I didn't tell her? That's like, in a situation. I'm like, yo, that's like, your fault. That's like, like, hold on. Your fault. That's your fault. Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying it's nobody's fault. But I'm saying, what would you do based on what happened? Like, we ain't gonna get into the whole fault situation. Right, okay. But, like, if, if you come through and I'm like, you're like, yo, I happen to be coming in the, in the area. You know, I was talking about playing some Madden or something. I'm like, come on through. Okay. I don't even say anything to it. She upstairs doing whatever she's doing, okay. not even paying attention. Okay. And then, you know, say we're on the couch and we're playing, then I go to check on the dogs. You go to go to the bathroom. You in the bathroom. She comes downstairs, go to the fridge. And when you come out the bathroom, morning glory. She's gonna she know I'm me. there. She's gonna, <laughs> she's gonna I'm gonna be like, there. oh shit. Yeah, yeah she's gonna know I'm, I'm there. I, I gotta say I'm just gonna look yeah. down and embarrass. She knows I'm okay. here. She acknowledges it, man. She's at the refrigerator. I come out the bathroom. There's no fucking way that we can not see each other. Sure it is. If she in the fridge, you know how the crib is set up. She's looking that way. You come exactly. out the fridge. I'm coming out the your, back side. If I'm coming out of your bathroom, your bathroom directly faces. Yeah, me. but if she's in the fridge. So she's not turned looking at you. She doesn't so you come out, you're like, oh shit. She doesn't You literally have time to. Go back in and close the That's door. That's what I'm gonna do and turn off the light. <laughs> and, and, and make sure I hear it going up the stairs. The light. No. I'm not, gonna turn, sneaky, I'm not gonna turn it that because <laughs> I'm not gonna turn the day on. Man, you you I'm, like, I'm like, oh my god. His bidet gonna come on, his air dry gonna come on, because you know his air dry is sensitive as shit. Your air go past that motherfucker. Yeah, so you the fuck is in the house. Now you gotta explain stuff. He got a Dyson, he got a Dyson vacuum in there. Yeah, he a Dyson vacuum. Why you sitting in the bathroom in the dark and shit? Shit is coming on. Like, what is you doing in there, dog? You see them come downstairs uh, and you in there? I'm gonna crack the door. I'm like, man, I'm okay. You there? Mm-hmm. No, I'm like, let's. <laughs> Housekeeping. <laughs> Housekeeping. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, that's kind of messed up, man. I'm like, I'm legally blind. I can't see. Well, what'd you do? Say you went to one yeah, of our yeah. houses and you see yeah, you one of our female that, that we live with. Likewise. I know both y'all personalities. Right. And y'all know I, I, I can't shut up. That's my problem. Right. So, I'm going to let you know. And I, I'm going to be as respectful as humanly possible. Even like, like, y'all those cakes. Yo, she got yo, cakes. Tone, Tone. Hey, man, I, I, I just want you to know, you know, just in case some weird stuff happens in the future or something like that. Right. Yo, I was using the bathroom. Wifey came out and stuff was flapping and dancing and shit. Hey, man. Okay. Good on you, homeboy. Um, I I had nothing to do with it. Yeah. I don't even know if she knew I she saw me, dog. I don't know. So you wouldn't get upset or or be like, damn, I should have said <clears> nothing. <throat> if and let's just say Cliff or myself, we went upstairs and started yelling at, at the female. I'm like, why are you walking naked? What am I gonna get upset My, for? You 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 that, that we, are, we we arguing upstairs. Said her straight. You damn right, cause I don't want you arguing with me. I don't want me not saying anything. And what if she's like? 
she she really saw you out the corner of your eye. Like, um, who you got in the house? Nah, and, and, oh, and she, oh, Tone's here. It would be oh, different if she, like, I think you he's, know. he's spying on me because he ran in the bathroom, and then when I looked, he closed the door real quick and turned off the light. Now I'm on your ass. No, because I'm inside the bathroom. I'm texting you. Yo, come to the bathroom. I need you right away. It's an emergency. But see, now you're letting me know. Yes. But I'm not telling you what's the emergency. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't. I cannot lock the, the door. The bidet has me hostage. <laughs> <laughs> I it's, still got pressure washing my colon. Nigga. I, <laughs> I, I pressed the wrong button and it sprayed my eye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? Oh, my God. Exactly. Yeah, but then by then she might be upstairs. Now it's like I'm leaving the house after that. I'm like, y'all, see you later. I play you see, online. Now you're painting guilt. That it's just feel weird. When yeah, you're painting guilt, now I'm gonna have a problem with you. Like, oh, why the hell did he do that shit, though? Why wouldn't he just <laughs> tell me? And just be like, yo, over with. I guess everyone. Now I'm thinking he, he going at home, you know, sitting in the dark, mad at his. So he like, well, I remember this. Who the fuck jerk off of a memory? Right. Who's a special type of nigga that's jerk off of still pictures and memory? Okay? No, they're out there. I, I know you guys I well, but I don't know y'all that well. No, so I don't know if you do it or not. No, we, that's, not, that's, not, that's not. We cool. share a lot of nasty stories, bro. Yeah. Come on, son. I, I also cool. need video motion, but yeah. yo, yeah. who knows what goes memory on in the dark? Still I don't know. Uh, huh? Memory and still photos is different. Yeah, but then how do I even know if you took any video? You don't. Exactly. You exactly. Don't. And now you no, duck it off? No, no, I'm not taking nobody's video. Nobody's video. Well, it's I easy can't to hear say you, though. You, you, there you go. I'm sorry. Well, I'm thinking of, I'm, th- I'm trying to reflect. You saw right. Uh, I'm not right. trying to take videos of nobody's significant other. So that wouldn't yeah. even come to my mind. I'm not. First thing I'm not thinking about is, oh, shit, let me pull out my phone. So, no. Nah, yeah. That doesn't make sense. Because now, now that's going to get aggressive. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, that's cross the lines. You cross the line right types there. of fucking... You know what I mean? I don't care if we have boys for 50 years. Yeah. Right. You, you to pull out the camera phone is weird. That's right. a trust issue. Yeah. Right. But how do you know it didn't happen? You got you to gotta vouch for your for boy. Like, yeah. You know that he won't the, the, shit like the friendship. The friendship. You know what I mean? True. We like we like brothers. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna do no shit like that. Right. I I know you would never do that. You know what I mean? 100. percent I'll bet the house on it. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> he be he be on the phone like scratch and sniff. You like OnlyFans? Might go for a good price. No, I'm, yeah. I'm, not gonna do shit. I'm not gonna do this shit. I just I don't want no trouble. No trouble. Yeah. No trauma. Okay. If you saw your since you brought that up, if you saw one of ours on OnlyFans, you oh, saying shit. something? Yes. 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 You got to. Me and everybody else saw it. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so it's, now it's, it's public. public. Yeah, it's public. It's public. It's, it's public it's information. Like, I'm it's like, like, yo, are you making money? Can yo, can we copy and paste? How you know? <laughs> Oh, so a second ago, right. oh, I wouldn't do that. I ain't taking out no pictures. That, yo, no, no, can, no, no. Can, can no, we're talking, no, we talking about OnlyFans. Fans. It's totally different. You if put it in a public domain. Would it, you be mad if I was a and subscriber? I can pay. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a paying customer. I'm a paying customer. Come on, son. They <laughs> like, yo, these cats are putting $14 a month on this. What is this? Right. Uh, and I'm asking for, like, uh, special video chats for $5. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> For five minutes, you can chat with me. Do you happen to own a plunger? Right. <laughs> <laughs> they put wow. in requests? Yes. Wow. I want you to watch what she eat this week. <laughs> eh, last week a little extra. <laughs> a little pasty. Yeah. <laughs> Clear people like, I want to put a little camera in the bidet and then look <laughs> inside out. Be like, oh, spray it, spray it. Hell no. <laughs> wow. Okay, so you're not you're not gonna say <laughs> nothing, and you're just gonna take that to the grave. I take it to the grave. I erase yep. it immediately. I was like, no, nope. out of my head, erase immediately. Because only fans. Because to to me, especially you know, Mama Bear, she's like a sister to me. You mm. know what I mean? Don't look at it any other way. You know right. what I mean? So I will feel like, oh my gosh, just look at like my sister. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm being embarrassed. Yep. Okay. That's just me. Yeah, it's embarrassment, and you just don't want to. You don't want to prolong, right? right because it's going to be a ripple yeah. in our friendship. Because 
I, I will feel like every time I come over to your house afterwards, you, awkward and, and, right, and, right, 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 and right. And I'm just talking to and it's no way you're, Mama Bear. Yeah, there's no way you're not gonna mention it to her. Right. So now she's awkward around me. Exactly. I'm awkward because I saw it's it's just a constant rotation of awkwardness. So I prefer to just say cut this motherfucker cut off. We hemorrhaged it. Delete. Done. Done. Yep. What do you have in the fridge? Yep. Let's go. That's it. There's still a problem though. What's the problem? You're too charismatic, dog. What do you mean? So if if she happened to see you, and then you come over, now if we made eye contact, <laughs> oh, that's a different story, bro. Man, I'm, I'm like, no go, no go. Eye contact. Now, now what if she? Now, here's what if the she question. Saying, Let, let's just say, <clears throat> here, here's the scenario. Was she embarrassed or was she like, hey, what's up, Hank? You know what I mean? Mm. It's two different ways. You still I'm gotta like, tell him at that point. Oh, I'm telling both ways, either right. way. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, if uh, she sees, is this your normal I gotta thing? say something. Yeah. Like now, I gotta be like, all right, man. Before you say something. Now, if she's like a nudist, like like a nudist beach kind of person, like all day every day, fine. Put a warning sign in front of the door. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Put a warning sign so I can be prepared. I'm like, hey, what's up? What's up, Mama Bear? How you doing? You know what I mean? Keep it moving. You know? Yeah, well, I mean, if she's like that, she's like, oh, yeah, I came out, I came downstairs and Antonio was here. I didn't even know he was here. I would have yeah. put on a towel or something. Yeah. Like, I'm still going ham and cheese over here, though. I'm going ham and cheese on. On the hunt? Yeah. Yeah, mm, God bless you. And yeah. they'll be like, yo, fuck you ain't say nothing, though. I'm like, about what, I come? <laughs> See, that's, yo, that's me. I'm about what? I want no beef. I want no beef. <laughs> Damn, now you got a big old pile of Swiss cheese at the door. Damn it. <laughs> Hell no. <nah>. Nah. <laughs> okay. So I guess that's fair enough. Um, and different scenarios might might change that outlook on Eye you. contact. That messed up everything. Now she knows I, I saw her or he saw her. Right. That, that, that's... Okay, so with, like, when you came out, you go to close the door. And, like, you know, the... Um, uh, the hand dry makes noise or the door just click and she turns around and she hears her. I'm, I'm like, like at that so point, she don't do know you got to tell, do you got to tell your boy before she does she or does it matter? She don't know I saw it. First, you know, I was in the fucking bathroom and this shit was me just coming out there. She don't know how to what, what Are she you willing to risk that? Let me ask I'm you a question though. What if she walks to the bathroom after she heard like the right, door close right. and, and she jiggles it and uh, unlocks it and she sees you? <laughs> now you seeking fucking now attention. You, like God, well, now I, I gotta, gotta say, say I'm like, God damn, I'm well, trying to avoid this. Well, shit. she didn't know what it was. To me. She didn't know what it was. She heard the door open and close. She like, what? What's she that? She's a black woman. She ain't coming to the danger. Like she's gonna hear the clicking and not go to it. I don't see her going towards the thing and it's going off. Okay. But if it happens, of course now I gotta say, I gotta say something. Yeah. Because she came out. So she's staring at ass naked and you just in the bathroom. What I'm gonna say, where else I'm gonna go? Like, and the only light is from your phone and shit. Because you try to. <laughs> Yo. Like, help. Your ass hammered, dog. Help. <laughs> it's an emergency, Michael. Come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm calling and texting you, bro. I'm like, calm down now, son. Calm down now. <laughs> You would not be able to text loud or fast enough for her the yell that would come out of the crib if that was the case. Oh, man. All right. So then what if it wasn't, like, one of us? What if it was a friend but not family-level friend? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> you going to make it yourself know that you would No, no. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'll put my head down. Are you gonna scan first? Oh, I'm like, no, it's not gonna be that fast. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it might be a game. And then, and then that little sigh, like, <laughs> that was so dirty. I ain't seen nothing, <laughs> right? I ain't seen nothing. <clears throat> oh, <no. clears throat> oh, my bad. He was gonna be, no way, wherever I'm gonna come. <laughs> I ain't see shit. I ain't see not a damn thing. Wow. <laughs> put my x ray glasses on and shit. <laughs> yeah. oh, I don't know. I mean, either way, man, I'm gonna let y'all know. And however you deal with the situation is is how you deal with. So the you will want us if that ever happened. I doubt it, but he wants us to tell you. You want us to, like yeah. tell you right away. I would yeah. want you to tell. Me. Would you want us to engage with her? Like, like, oh, I'm sorry, Tanya. 
You know what I mean? Nah, however the situation plays is how the situation plays. Okay. I, I'm fine with that. Okay. You know. Because it wasn't how it's brought. It's not like we went upstairs. <laughs> right, like, right. You know what I mean? Nah, that's how right. it starts. Yeah. But, but don't be like, uh, <coughs> yo, I want to I wanna tell you something, <coughs> but it's better if I show you. And you have a whole video. Now it's going to be yeah. a problem. Yeah, right. I wouldn't do that. But, I mean, I, for me, I just <laughs> think that it would be better if I tell you just, because I don't know the situation. I don't even know if y'all... <laughs> Y'all uh, significant others or whoever it may be <clears throat> saw me and then they're just acting like they don't. And then all of a sudden they come out in an argument that me and them might have later. Mm. Or because now they're awkward because they saw you. So you telling on, t- and I'm just being a, on anticipation that it might come out later. So you're trying to get ahead of the curve. You're damn right. Okay. Because I don't want it coming back. Yo, did I you see- do this? Yeah. And I'm like, I, now I can't lie to you. You're my boy. What, yeah. what am I going to lie? Okay. I see so, your point, too. I'm like, well, yo. I can see both sides. Right. I don't see a side where I, I don't see it. Right. <laughs> I'm glad you can see both sides. I, I, I can't. I see because I know how angry you can get, how fast you can get. <clears throat> right. Make sure I'm like, oh, I don't want to be a uh, witness at the court. But you, though. Yeah, but now nah, I got to go to court and all that stuff. No, I won't. Mm. Nah, I'm, I'm not that bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm a lot of, <laughs> it's a lot of rah, rah, bark, bark. Yeah, but, it's a I mean, there ain't going to be no putting no hands on nobody. Uh, Okay. Because I'm, I'm still fair, scared of that word half. Fair, fair you know case. Fair, fair case. Right. <laughs> I, went around, I went around my whole time and shit because it escalated. So, I, yeah. You're right. You don't, you don't go that far. But but I'm going to be loud with it. You damn sure I believe everybody in the neighborhood is going to hear my opinion on the matter. Yeah. Like, it's going to be heard. That's true. But after that, YouTube live? It's, it's no big deal. I mean, uh, <laughs> Facebook Live? You're like, all right. Here's a question for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Would you matter? On, it'll be on the Hey Man segment. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, if you using my bathroom, <laughs> that'd be dope. <laughs> nah, but um, yeah, like I said, I, I would have to let y'all know. Okay. I, I mean, that's just in me because, like you said, I want to get ahead of it. But not only that, but just out of respect for y'all, be like, look. So you know, I'm on the up and up. You know, we boys. <laughs> I'm tell you what happened, just in case, because I don't know what you got in here that could be watching your back. Well, your and house, and then I come out. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, he, he got a camera in the fish tank and shit. Definitely got to. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's it's a, a robot. It's not a fish. fish. It's, it's just camera. Amazon boxes, man. Yeah. And I just happen to have you know the ones that the, the screen moves, you know, and it'll follow you around the room. So. Yeah, that's that's not weird. At all. <laughs> hey, I didn't make the device, dog. You bought it. Well, if, I mean, if, it if we come into your house, device. we need a disclosure to sign. Yeah, yeah. We're being filled 24 <laughs> 7. Like the show Big Brother. You're right. on recorded at all times. Yeah. <laughs> Not all times. Except when you're using a bidet. <laughs> yeah, bathroom yeah, bath, time. Bathrooms and bedrooms are off limits. <laughs> but. Everything else is free game. Hey, man, I, I, I got expensive dogs in there, man. And, I gotta make sure I <laughs> the house is taken care of, mm. and I can I can see it at any time. <laughs> I can jump on the phone and see what's going on. But I don't know. Like I said, I I, w- I would tell you. I, I I really would. All right. So not bad. Okay. All right. All right. Part two. Uh, <laughs> oh, I love scenarios. Scenarios just makes my world go around. It really oh, does. Busting rhymes, nigga. <laughs> Here we go, oh, yo. Here always we go, come yo. on. <laughs> okay. Now, don't keep this just between us as far as okay. the level of things. Just in general? This is just in general. Okay. Okay? You spend a night at your boy's house and wake up to his mom <clears throat> giving you the greatest head ever that you've ever had. Do you tell him? Or do you make her stop? Actually, it's a two-part question. Ugh. And like I said, not just us in the room, so don't get all clammed up. And just... <laughs> Stiffler's mom. Don't be mom. scoundrels. Uh, Stiffler's mom. Scoundrels. Scoundrels I'm dealing with. Dog or it's scoundrels. I don't, I don't know, man. I've seen Cliff's mom. Looks just like Cliff. I don't know. He's Damn. Still not fine, you mom. know what? Bastard. But I'm just saying, in general... <laughs> I'm about to stab you with your thigh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, fuck, 
<laughs> you messing it up again. Dude. I'm sorry, bro. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. Just in general. <laughs> you know, you spending the night at the at the fella's house yeah. and oh, all what? of a sudden that happens. And, like, first well, of all, do you stop? How, how far into doing this is she? Like, I'm deep sleeping. Like, she comes, right. Did she, she just start or are you almost done? How far does it have to go for it to be the best ever? Oh, wow. <laughs> Either way, here's my theory. Either way, you tell them that your mom gave me some best head ever. But if what you if bust it or not or not, you still they, you're still gonna think, man, that's messed up. Mm-hmm. Why not get the nut off? Because at the end of the day, right? I'm not saying. Why, why not at the end of the day? Me off. <laughs> Hey man, your mom. Oh, it's gonna finish off. It's the best step. Yeah, right? it, it's gonna happen. Yeah, I, I, I so bet. you don't stop a midway. You just if it's the best, oh, sh- mm-hmm. it's the Ever best, have. and then you put your hand like, look, Mrs. Mr. Miller, you popping your boy's bob head. I, I want to make sure that's her eyes. <laughs> I'm like, I, sw- you know, my eyes are a little blurry right now. You <laughs> sir say. are a scoundrel. <laughs> I, I just want to make sure we make eye contact. So I'm trying to grab her head just to, you know, get a little eye contact. And then, and then I, and then I just think about it until she keeps going. I'm like, mm, what should I do? Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. That, yeah, that's, you know. Mm-hmm. Do you even like try so to white boy play, play it off? Be somebody we close to. We gotta be nobody yeah, close just, to. Us. Yeah, just a regular dude like somebody, a, a, somebody that you know well like enough. Like acquaintances. Yeah, somebody. Yeah. Oh yeah, somebody yeah. that you have know well enough to, to yeah. be at their house. We, I have so many acquaintances. I can lose. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have like, at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But my boy, boy. I'm like, like, every single guys? time he say some shit like, they cut it out. If I call your mama, give me head. Stifler. Right. Your mom sucks me off again. I'm like, yo, call Gummy. Tell her come over. Don't bring the teeth. We right. see how we worked. It worked out for old boy with uh, LeBron's mom, man. I mean, Delonte, what? Oh, yeah, yeah he I did the wrong that. mom. That's the, that's, the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the chosen one, nigga. Don't fuck with the chosen one. Man. What happened to him? He no more NBA after that. No, he's a certified he, he, bum now, he in the man. streets, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. He had videos that niggas strung out in the streets like skits. Was he a good player or no? He was a good role player. Okay. He, he was a, a, a clean <clears throat> Cavalier, so. Yeah, oh, well. Yeah. He went another. Person, Outside of LeBron know. and fuck what Larry Nance, this pretty much a rap. And Kyrie for the short time. <laughs> Other than that, like, yeah. what is a Cleveland Cavalier? Yeah, that's like saying you're a Mets fan. Mark <laughs> or a Jets fan, you know? Yeah, just, uh, yeah. All those that rhyme: Mets, Jets, Nets, yeah. and Dallas. <laughs> they Dallas seem Cowboys. to go together. Yeah, they do like yeah. Cowboy fans. Yeah. yeah. All right. So. Mm, so. What about you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Answer the question. Answer the One of your military buddies. You ain't real super close, but y'all went to y'all, y'all military. Oh, that's good. I like that. Like that. Why you do that, man? Because yeah, I, yeah. I, I got some different of my type, boys that watch. Different so. type of brotherhood. Yeah. yeah now on. you bring it up. Yeah. Hey. Would you I'm, rather <laughs> military I'm tell, mom's head? Yeah, I'm gonna tell oh. all you double dogs out there. Yeah. <laughs> if you got a question. Ask it in the comments and I'll answer. Just put some comments out there. <laughs> if you don't ask, I ain't telling. We going back to that. Don't ask, don't tell shit. Um, I mean, I, I'm with you guys. Like, how do you stop that? I, I, I don't understand how you would. Because however you're going to tell your boy that it happened, you're not going to tell him I busted a nut. I'm like, I just got hit. I caught off guard. He's going to ask you, though. Are you no, going to compliment not. the mama? Like, like, yo, your mom gave me the... Yo, she can throw down. She'd be like, yeah, she can cook, right? I'm like... Something like yeah. That. Possibility. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. cooking. Yeah. <laughs> she cooking. She got that sloppy top. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. She's going to say something probably, too. Man. Mm-hmm. She knows she's going to say something. You think somebody's mom would tell? I don't think they would. They already know they doing she scandalous like, stuff. She's she sneaking like in the bedroom. Yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah. What you gonna say? I need to make him dinner. Right. right. <laughs> She'll cook you steak and, and make him a waffle. Right. <laughs> Get him a pop tart. <laughs> What's for dinner? Pop tarts for you, steak fam. <laughs> You're like, what the? Yeah. That's because I got. Pay the no meat. attention I when I call him dad. Right. <laughs> what the? Yeah, I got the meats. Right. <laughs> 
Oh man, yeah. I mean that you. The telling part's the rough part, though, man. Because mm-hmm. I mean that's much different than a spouse. If it's your mom, you're risking getting punched in the mouth, no matter who it is. That's facts. Nobody. I mean, it don't. There's nothing but you, you can say to your boy. You just ain't stop it right away, Bruh. <laughs> I'm just saying. Bruh. I didn't okay, say hey. I didn't want to do it, but okay, hey. so if it is a personal thing, and it's that's fair, that's fair, right? Okay, hey, mom, you want to suck my dick? If I find this, I'm like, all right. But she started it, right? And I just didn't stop it right away. That's so if it was us in this room, you don't think that would get you a punch in the face? Yeah, we just said, don't care about us. <laughs> See how you changing it up? Yeah, because yeah, he's changing now, yeah, bro. I'm changing because this ain't. Yeah, it's like saying it's like saying I hung out with with, with Cliff, right? Uh huh. I, I stood over at his house because we were drinking too much. He's like, "Yo, you, you too drunk to drive? Just stay right, in right. spare bedroom." Right. Yeah. I wake up. His mom's giving me sloppy toppy. I don't know it right away because I'm still kind of drunk. And then I realize it's his mom. Am I gonna tell Cliff? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you see that face right there? Right, right. That's just the same face she gave me. I'm like, I don't want that shit th- twice. <laughs> I don't want it twice. But you see how disrespectful oh, y'all are. Yeah, but <laughs> y'all said because if it's somebody else, you might. Yeah, man. I'm like, yo, yo, mom's though. But that's my boy. That's my boy. You know what I mean? Hey, that's my I homie. Hope Bella likes the last picture she saw you. But she'll never see you again. <laughs> you won't leave, you won't leave my house, nigga. I'm like, bro. I was in your spare bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I walked there. I thought I was dreaming. When our moms come out the room doing this shit. Everybody got to die. Like roaches, everything moving got to die. She's like, mm, I had some fresh leches. Nope. <laughs> oh I'm building a fucking bitch oh. 12 feet deep and I'm burying you in it. <laughs> but how is it your boy's fault? In that case, Cliff, I'm drunk. I'm laying, I'm just laying in the bed. You know what I mean? I don't, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm going off of my mom too, but I'm just but, saying. But how is your boy's fault if he's drunk and he's just laying in the back? Should have been drunk. Right. <laughs> you should have had finished. You should have had mental no, lock now, and no. never finished. Now, if you would have said, if I would have said, yo, I flipped it, gave it doggy style, now I'm like, yo, you, you effed up right there. You know what I mean? But I'm like dead drunk. I'm just laying down. I'm getting ahead. I'm like, uh, you know what I mean? Don't know what's going on really, but it feels good. You can't be mad at me. I'm drunk. The head sucks you out of into soberness. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I never got head and remained sober. I was like, if I fall asleep or I'm still drunk, bitch, kill your mouth. Because the shit is terrible. It, it, yeah. That shit just wakes you right into sober, sobriety. It's dark so if, if they happen it's to dark. you by and somebody in the room, you, you just be like, You're not gonna I understand you. you were drunk and my mother did this, so... I'm gonna, Are you really? I'm gonna be so upset. My mama kick out that whole house, bro. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> and then every time, every time we get into a, a conversation, you bring that shit and, up. and people just kind of bullshit throw comments, and you be like, "Yo, mom, that's not, dude, not, not that's, <laughs> no, that's the conversation me and my boy gotta have." They're like, "Yo." I would be like Kevin Hart, Miss Loretta, I'm ready to see the rest of the tour. <laughs> ready to see the rest of the house. Oh my god. Nah man, shit never be the same, man. Yeah. Never be the same. I won't be invited no more at Clips Out, even though I've never been invited yet. Mmm. Word? Mm. Yo, that's like years and years, 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 years. I remember, <laughs> man, we've been friends since he had a hairline. <laughs> Since kids were six years old, dog. Yep. Since kids were six. Yep. Since other kids weren't even on the planet yet. Facts. Yo, we go back like four flats, dog. <laughs> you ain't invite the man to the crib? I never That's had terrible. no real reason to. I had no we were at Tito's Lounge! <laughs> 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 we were hanging out! <laughs> You, you don't, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get back to my side of town. <laughs> you the one living fucking all the way where you live at. So yeah, maybe you want your mom's anyway. coming around that joint, though. Mm-hmm. I ain't getting well, that one. I ain't yeah, touching that yeah, one. Yeah, please, thank you. I got respect <sighs> for my boy. I appreciate it. No doubt, no doubt. That's love. That's love. All right. <clears throat> one more. And then we can just kind of. Okay. Just, just, all right. We're going to make this one a little bit. A little bit off of that type of subject. Save those for later. Um, beating your kids. 
What about Where you stand on it? <clears throat> What's the level of beating? Beating your kids. Where you stand? Like on? leaving black and blues? Or beating just... your kids. Where you stand on it? I spank them. If you take spanking. Away you know, punishment gotta fit the crime. Like if it's, yep. if it's something drastic, then yeah, I'm gonna spank them. But if it's not, I'm not gonna spank them. What if they in the club? Oh, in the club. <laughs> what if they in the uh, in the store grabbing stuff off the shelf? If you told them not to grab stuff off the shelf, they gonna oh. pop or no? Heck yes. Grabbing them by the neck, <laughs> right there in there, and you gonna get, apologize to that store owner? Because I got girls, I can snatch them up, and I can, yes. I can defuse that. Because yes. girls are different than boys. Correct. So for mm-hmm. me, if I, I got girls. Too. If I talk to them sternly, they'll they'll cry. Mm-hmm. I can I can defuse a lot of the spankers. I think my oldest, I might have spanked him twice, eighteen years ever. Mm-hmm. Like I, I don't have to do that with them. My other girls, same thing with them, six and five. I don't have to do that. All I gotta do is yell at them or make a stern face, and it's done. Now I don't know what my boys can do. So you, you do realize you got work, huh? You got work. I got work. Yeah. When you, you go in there, and you think that you're being stern. Them tears is because they know how to work, Daddy. That's not because they're sorry about it. They know how to pull one over on you. Not doing it again. They're not. They're very rarely They're not getting caught again. doing it again. No. But the only person, the only <laughs> one I know who's bold enough to do this shit again is Peyton. She don't give a shit. That's my, that's me. That's my thug. She don't care about that. Shout out to Lil Payton. Pay, pay, we call her Gangsta P. Gangsta P don't give a shit. She'll look you right in your eye and do the shit. Now her, I get with her. Like, I really have to get in her. But Henry, no. I don't have to do that. Payton definitely got to get the ass with her. So she'll get it in the store. But once I pop her, then she, she good. If I take something from her, yeah, that's a wrap. But spanking got to fit the crime. I'm going to spank her every single day. What if they're just mouthing off? Like, not not cursing you out or anything like that. Like, you're telling them to do something, and they're, they're getting smart with their answers. I flick them in the mouth. Where's the flick consist of? Pow! Oh, the, the almighty pluck, huh? That, my pluck is fucking hard as fuck. <laughs> my shit accurate as fuck. Right in that bottom lip. Like, I'm... Pow! I should get it right every time. And you're the same way? I'm spanking my daughter. <laughs> I'm Latino, son. <laughs> Shoe. I always wondered about that the, with you the, guys, the, man. The, the belt, whatever. You're going to embarrass me. You're not going to disrespect me, especially in my house. I How actually often had to Bella. I, that's what I'm saying. She don't even have a Bella reason. nowadays because she's at that 13 year old. Oh, yeah. She she's, that she's in that hormones yeah. issue and she gets sassy. very sassy and. Uh, leave me alone. Yeah, you got the neck you know rolling. I, mean? I was about to say, you got the neck the, rolling yet? Huh? You got the neck oh, rolling. Oh, neck roll, yeah. I, I Man, roll. Right and there. None of that gets popped? It was popped. Yeah, it gets popped. That it it popped. happened like about a month ago, a month and a half ago. And I haven't spanked my daughter in years. And she kept pushing <clears> and pushing it, <throat> right? I was like, no, don't, don't be disrespectful in my house. You know, you do whatever you want in your mama's, but not here. Mm. And I'm walking out the door. She's like, oh, whatever. Oh, oh man. That's it. I did the sign of the cross. <laughs> Bro, I went to my room, grabbed my belt, and this is the first time I used the belt on her. Wow. And she looked at it and she was in fear. I was livid, oh, yeah. son. I'm sure. My neck was red, everything. I was pissed. Mm. I put her down. I said, lay down. And she's like, no, daddy, no, daddy. And I kind of felt bad, but I told myself, if I don't follow through yep, she's gonna yeah, keep exactly. doing it exactly i gave her four right in the legs be you know i had her <coughs> lay on her stomach one two three four since then it's only no been problem, a month huh? huh no problem no problem no problem and then i text her mama could i take her home that same day i was like look no. this is what happened i did this yeah, at least she supported like that's your house your roof i was like appreciate it because wow, she knows I I, had that. because yeah. i don't spank my kids that much right mm. but I, like just like Cliff, it all depends on disrespect or what happened. You know what I mean? Like, if she was stealing at the bodega, you got at the store, me. right in front of me, mm-hmm. I'm like, you're not gonna get me arrested. <laughs> <laughs> you getting spanked? You know what I mean? Nazim gives me Nazim gives me discount. Right, you gotta right. mess my ten percent off. What about disrespect to a teacher at school? And you, know, you get the call. We're going to have a conversation. I'm not going to spank in front of the teacher. Right. right. Nowadays, they're going to call. Yeah. You know, <laughs> facts, like, we're going right. to do it outside of the school property. Right. Mm. I'll pull up to the Kroger parking lot. You're going to get your ass <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a flip flop in the, in the trunk. I'm like, oh, I got to grab something. 
Come on, sorry. I need your help. Blah, blah, blah. Like a ninja star or something. Like a ninja star. Smoking yeah. like a true Latino. Yeah, bro. I hear you. I don't know, man. I've, I've always wondered about that when you guys have, you know, the girls from the show. <coughs> so. It's different. You know? Yeah. It's because different. boys need two by four. Yeah. Discipline. You got to box I mean, them we, out. You got to punch them sometimes. Boy needs to be so, pop, like, like punch them in the, the chest. Like, pop. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. oh, why you did that? Just to make you stronger. That's it. Just yeah. because you're thinking about it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, case, you got to. That's because, uh, you know, in the future, you're going to do something wrong. I already punched you. Yeah. And that also aids in, um, you know, a boy identifying as not a boy. I don't know where you get his. <laughs> I don't know. If we... Don't a, you B, get... C, D. <laughs> I don't know if we need to go over there, but. Uh-uh. <laughs> you going to get canceled with the culture. <laughs> Please don't take my subscribers. Uh, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here in these streets. No comment. Wow. They, they, I, they, I should have put you out there too, man. They, I ain't gonna they're throwing it. dildos at his face. <laughs> at the comedy <laughs> show. <laughs> I be rocking motherfuckers all day. What you said? It's called comedy. You don't say that to Chappelle or Eddie Murphy. He's bigger than his platform too big. I'm exactly. Out there. Nah, I'm, I'm easy to get canceled. You know what I mean? Because I do turn my shit off. <laughs> they report my shit. They can't turn that nigga off. Yeah. I'm still trying to get off the ground. So you ain't gonna speak your truth. I speak in a different way. Oh, he's scared. Whatever. He writing his journal. <laughs> oh, another one of the alphabet people. <laughs> I did a joke actually like that, and I was like, "Look at y'all niggas playing up." And I was watch the room just go for it. I was like, yeah, "Just know. tight butt cheeks all around the room." No <laughs> and this shit wasn't really about them, but I just said, "I want the alphabet community to respect my shit too." And it really, the shit was, I said I had ADD, absolutely delicious dick. So I said, I want y'all niggas to respect my condition too, alphabet people. We ain't got no parade. We ain't got no ribbons. Yeah, that was kind of, that that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It was real light, but yeah. they clammed us up. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. Just that, just that simple. Just that little moment right there, saying that, yeah. I mean, that's how you're life in wrong, is. You're in the wrong club, son. Stop going to the to the to that's the in, rainbow area. That's in any room, though. At this yeah. point, at this point, when you get to the point where you can't even joke about it, you <laughs> you in the wrong profession, let alone the wrong club. Everybody, you know, we all feel that way. Every comedian feels that way. Bring the '90s back. That you can't speak we can about, talk about everything because it's such a a, a climate where you got to be tolerant to every fucking thing, even if you don't feel like you are. Imagine if if the legendary, you know, Dangerfield, um, you mean Andrew Dice Clay, 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 Clay Red, Richard, Red, Pryor, Red, Richard Red, Pryor, Red Fox, you know what I mean? Yeah, Where all comedians of them. right now, they'd be canceled. They'd be canceled, bro. They couldn't. They couldn't have. They wouldn't have no platform. But do you think they would really care? Like, it's not, I, it's not I, the I, care part. Yeah, it's would, just they, they won't be have to, to, to get, keep become famous on. because. Yeah. Everybody oh, so you're saying them. if they were starting out <laughs> right. in this type of society yeah. and not as big as they got, right. but still yeah. trying to do it. Chappelle already gained so much momentum from his show to now. Yeah. It gave him that ability to stand that on that on that leg and do it. He's not starting out. But right. At this point, but at this even point, he's still backing down. You know, he really? was giving apologies and shit like that. I haven't seen him and, really and justifying. The, the he, first one he did when he after he he made a joke, and he was the like, it was taken out of context. What I said was this, and it wasn't against any. And he also said, "Fuck such such." I heard him say that shit too. Like, man, this is what I believe. Did y'all hear the whole show? No, you heard it in context, or someone mm-hmm. told you about it. If you didn't see the whole thing, oh, shut small the fuck little, up. Right? Five you heard a snippet that yeah. someone passed to you. You got offended. You didn't hear the whole thing because if you hear the whole special, mm-hmm. he explains how he gets to right. where his thought right. process. Mm-hmm. So, and like like um, Tracy Mer- Morgan says, I don't want to be the apologetic. Man. Like right. I, I don't want right. to be the one who says something and I got to turn around and be like, well, I'm sorry to the whole... I don't want to ever do that. Like, I don't want to be that type of guy. Eddie Griffin, a lot of those dudes feel like that. If I said it, I said it. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't mean no malice about it. Motherfuckers, take a joke. It's the fact that you can't take a joke that's irritating. You could joke, laugh about everybody else without the joking around. Mm-hmm. The moment is about y'all, now we can't take no jokes. It's stupid. It's dumb as fuck. What about when your boy from uh, Seinfeld, Kramer, came out he, and threw... He's yelling, nigga. You yeah. know, you know the difference between a joke and being malicious and intent. You know, you could figure out intent. He was, yeah, yeah, nigga, shut the fuck. He was yelling that. But intent only matters to the person who said it, right? I mean, at that or point, hear it. 
Mm, but you can't tell what somebody's intent was. Correct. You can tell how you take it. But it doesn't mean that, you know, if if I called you a derogatory or something right now, it, it it all depends on how you take it. You don't know what my intent was. So I could have been saying, ha ha, I think it's just funny and it's, I thought we fellas hanging around. But if you take it as, oh my God, he's a racist bigot, I mean, my intent doesn't matter. So it was a video that went around with Chris Rock's in the room with Bill Burr, I think, uh, Louis Pre or post K, slap. Jerry Seinfeld before. Pre slap. Okay. Pre slap. He, he, they was geeking off the N word in front of Chris Rock. I mean, say Chris Rock got hate for that. Um, they were Why talking, Wait a minute. Oh, you said. It's a video, it's a table like this. Right. Rock is the only black guy in the room with Burr, Louis C.K., Seinfeld. Louis C.K. Says, CK talks about saying the N word. He says the word. Mm -hmm. Not the, not bleeps out, not M. Right. He says the full word. With the A or the R at the end? I don't remember how, but he said. If the it word. was Burr, it had the A. Okay. And he, he, he gets a pass. He got black wives and yeah. mixy kids. The point so is, he Rock ain't say shit about it for a minute. <laughs> he was on Rock's ass about that type of shit. So, um, when you hear it, most white comedians know not to say it. Period. Because of how sensitive it is to us. Right. But when you say stuff about other people, if you say it, if you can figure out a way to say it and you're saying it within the joke, I think people are more receptive to hearing it instead of you saying they were just saying, well, why can't we say nigga? That's what Louis K C K. Why can't we say nigga? Y'all can say nigga. It was that type of shit. Oh, if like old boy from uh, who was it? Uh, Phoenix or whatever. Right. Chris it was Paul a debate. And all that shit. Yeah, don't make a debate. But if you say in the story, blah 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 blah, blah and it's a, in the joking man, then you, in our minds, you're framing a joke. Mm -hmm. But it's still a really tight rope to fucking say because I've heard people say the f word derogatory for gay people, right? Uh, and mm -hmm. when you say it, you're saying it's. We knew that motherfucker, woo! It's a tight, tight line across. He said it within a joke, and he was like, all right, well, he's saying what the person said, whatever that joke was supposed to play. But see, so that, you gotta find that, that line to walk. But it's hard. How, how did we get here, though? How did we you get here? Like, what happened to the whole, you know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers will storm the Capitol, you know what I'm saying? And say whatever the hell they want, <laughs> and we're like, hey, well, that was just their rights. Freedom of speech and and all this good stuff. So it's the whole. Him so her, her what happened pronoun. to freedom of speech? Like, why is it that speech is not free anymore, though? Because it hurts people's feelings. Mm. That's why when everybody started mm. getting participation trophies, you hitting on something there, yeah. dog. You hitting people's on something. feelings. Yeah, well, everybody got participation trophies because no one wants to get their feelings hurt. We saw we lost our we lost our ability to be competitive to to, 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 to the world to to dig deep. Yep. And, and and find something in us to, to go per per, per pass because everybody ain't built that way. So now because you ain't built that way, I gotta succumb to your level because this all started. Be, not to cut you off, my yeah. brother. This all started because a whole generation decided to say, "I'm not gonna spank my kids. I'm gonna have them sit in the corner and have a timeout." That, yeah, all that. That right there. Think about it. All these all these timeout little kids are now. That's saying, called the participation trophy. Exactly. Yeah, generation. We never did that to our kids. They lost. We oh, we took an L. All right, let's go work harder. When we coach football, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm with you. Like, I don't take participation trophies on. I leave this shit in the park. <laughs> I don't got no damn participation trophy in my case. For real? Every I swear to God. Every damn. my mom's like, you ain't gonna take it. No, I leave this shit right where is that? Even when you're doing comedy. I don't get no. <laughs> <laughs> That shit right there. <laughs> How about that? Out of you. <laughs> He's like, uh, throw that little Vince Carter on you, you know. That shit stays right there, goddamn. <laughs> I get what you say, you know. But um, but I take this step. It, it's the generational. Right. But how did that generational jump happen? You know, because there's, when you look at each generation and what their response was for or what they're known for, you can see a distinct line in the sand. Right. You know, all of us happen to be Generation X's. Yes. You know, we were pretty much the first generation that was Generation fucking. Like, we, we don't care about doing all the traditional stuff and doing what 
the generations before us said that this is how you're supposed to do things. Right. Like, nah, we ain't gonna do it. We're gonna do it our own way. And fuck it. That's just what we're gonna do. Right. So, you know, we were the first ones to kick off the nonsense. Now, <clears throat> there was still things that we held as as good values, mm-hmm. you know, beating your kids. And, you know, be respectful. A man, a man, be to respectful. Your or you get hard. Oh, yeah, be be respectful to everybody. Yeah. Or at least be respectful enough to the people that you're afraid could punch you in your face. Facts. You right. know what I'm saying? Defend yourself. All that's gone. Right. Like, there's nobody afraid of getting punched in the face no more. At it, all. It's at all. Like, when this whole movement of Karens came out, that shouldn't even exist. Yes, that shouldn't even all. be a thing. I, I'm, I, I'm even going to get even deeper. And, you know, we can stop, you know, after I say it. But think about it like this. In, in our generations, sorry. In our generation, yes, it probably happened here and there, but not as much as nowadays with these middle school, high school kids doing suicide because of peer pressure. That too. That's social media. That's so that's, so, that's social media. But right. think about it, the mindset, the, the how strong their minds are. They're not. That's the that's that, what I'm saying. It's just That's what I mean. Our generation were, in my opinion, we were tougher even mentally and physically, right? But Generation X are the ones who raise those kids in a way. Right. So it's it. Well, right. you know why they raise them? They raise them thinking I was traumatized by what my mom and dad did, so yes. I'm not gonna do that to them. Right. Not understanding that that gave you a special skill set and traits that, even though the, the the process and maybe the way they did it wasn't the best, but you got the skill sets you need that made you who you are now. Mm-hmm. Correct. So when everybody's like, I'm going to do something that I ain't never that I didn't get when I grew up. All right, well, now you're creating little fucking monsters. Right. You know what I'm saying? By by doing that. Hey. Everything's a balance. Yeah. Get, your approach could be different, but what you learn from it should stay remain the same. Your foundation. You know if, if I believe in tough love. <laughs> Me too. I'm a tough love type of guy. I get a lot of flack and shit from that. Um, from my kids' moms and, and my kids. My dog like, Dad, it's not back in the day. We do is a... I don't give a fuck. Like, that shit's gonna make you tougher. The world don't give you everything you want. Right. The world do you deserve every fucking thing you want. Because you want don't mean you should get it. Right? And that gives you some level of balance. It gives, makes you figure how to work harder. How to become resourceful. How to be... All that other kind of shit. The motherfuckers can't think outside the box. You ask them something? Yeah. I, how you know about that? Let me Google it. No, nigga. They no, can't even calculate basic math yeah, in their head, right, bro. Right. They don't know how to do none of that shit. But like, your daughter literally just gave you exactly what the problem with the formula is. Right. You know, where where her saying it's not that time anymore, she's literally telling you, you know what? The way that you guys were raised and the way that you guys did things, we don't understand how to even compute that. We That's we just don't fault, get though. it. We messed up in, in, in a way. I but where did we mess up? I still put Y'all, it in you're her. You're getting there, but yeah. where did we mess up? I still put it in her. She still got it, but she'll still say, well, Dad, I mean, we ain't got to do it like that no more. And I'm like, what is shit? You should still apply it, though. Like, this shit still works. Like, what your grandmother would say, it's nothing new under the sun. Life, right. life basics. Like, this shit is, like, yeah. the same thing. It's the same shit under the sun. Like, yo, it still should still applies. Whether it was the 60s, 50s, 70s, 80s, it still applies. But that's where society is now. It doesn't. <clears throat> it doesn't. It's literally the thing that we, as the last active generation because the baby boomers and the yeah. perfect generation they're, 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 they're done they're, yeah. they're, they're wearing diapers and stuff now yeah. I mean they're they're it's older true. in the day okay, so we're the last one that we're the last generation that's actually still active in society mm-hmm. and what they're telling us although we understand it as you need this toughness to survive the way that these now generations <coughs> millennials and Everything after wise and and all this other the techie generation all this all they understand is yes everything that I want is supposed to be available to me I'm entitled everything entitled. is supposed to, to be, be mine right and you can't judge me you can't talk about me you can't do anything derogative towards me because it's no longer allowed. So, again, how do we get there? The, it's no um, You guys are getting there, but it's literally is, so much easier than you think. Education starts at home. The foundation. Right. How do you right. think we got there? We got there off of 
imbalance. And it's just that simple. When Generation X is also the first generation that glorified single moms. The mm -hmm. very first generation. Oh, she's a strong woman. Uh -huh. Strong single mom. She's the mama and the daddy. Right. That was our generation that started. Yes, right? I agree. That was <clears throat> he just canceled the daddy right away. Canceled them out. If if the father's a bum, he's a bum. But someone like us, you know what I mean? Right. Where we still want to be part of our kids' life, but right. they don't, we don't get the respect because they're all they look at. Oh, she's a single mom. I'm like, wait, wait. Exactly. I'm, 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 exactly. I'm in my, right my kids' life. Right. Right. You know? the, the the mom is glorified. Right. And the dad is a he's a trash. Yeah. He he he's, he's just he's an associate to the to right. the cause kind of thing. Yeah. And <clears throat> if you notice. That's exactly where this whole thing like completely slid out. Has nothing to do with the separation of church and state or anything like that. <clears throat> that that changed the way that we conceptualize things. But as far as the way society's going now, when you have uh, the way that the way that humans, uh, Homo sapiens, are built is, we have exactly half of what's needed to be a success and to survive and thrive. Men have half, women have the other half. Men have, for the most part, it was for from the beginning of history all the way until the middle to the end of Generation X. It was men had the logic and the, and not saying logic in a, in a form of smarts or anything like that, but the way that we analyze things. It was a logical way that we did it. We look at two plus two, it equals four. Plug four into the equation and it's done. Period. There's yeah. no there's no mix about it. Women had the emotional and the caregiving side of things. And again, this has nothing to do with staying at home and mm. and and rearing children and right. nothing it's like that. Being nurturing. It's, right. Yeah. It's it's all about being nurturing. The mothers were the one that when when the baby skinned their knee or the or did something, the mother was the one that's like, oh, okay, I understand the pain. Let me get you to understand that it's pain now, but it'll go away. Mm -hmm. We were like, stand up. It's fucking pain. Yeah. Get your ass up. Let's go. Rub some dirt on it. Get your ass back outside. Right. Yeah. Let's get it done. Because the, the task is the most important. Not understanding what the task is, accomplishing the task. And the second that we were taken out of the, the households as fathers, now the children coming up after us, they only got one side. They got the emotional side. Yeah. They got the curing, the caring side. They got the understanding, yeah. which also brings entitlement. I understand how the world is, but because I feel a certain way, I should be allowed to feel this way, and nothing stops me from <laughs> feeling that way. You got whereas the father's my feelings, right, it's right, man, that, it, it, it justifies the feeling. Whereas the father in the in the picture or the the. <clears throat> testosterone or the masculine side to say no that's not how the world works <coughs> there's gonna be times where this world is absolutely gonna kick your ass and don't give a fuck about your feelings exactly right. so yeah. the way that you survive is to be stronger than that problem that you face face the problem well, beat the problem yep. get your ass up and make it happen but now it's I don't have to face the problem because the problem is the problem so the problem stopped being a problem and let me just be me. Now I'm gonna ignore it. Right. And mm -hmm. and now it's got the pendulum has swung so far, it's no longer we gotta ignore it. It's how dare you be here problem. Wow. Get out of my face. Allow me to be me and you accept me for that. And now this is this is where we are in society. The mm -hmm. pendulum has swung so damn far over mm -hmm. that now you got all these ridiculous problems and nobody understands. What the hell was supposed to do with it? Like you got these damn uh, these boys that are identifying, which I fucking I hate that word now. Mm -hmm. They're identifying as girls and they're competing in girls' sports and they're wrecking every every record that girls have yeah, set. It's unfair. Unfair. Completely. But because yeah. of the way society's set up now, yeah. we're not allowed to say something's unfair. So you can't even correct the problem. Yeah. We've overcorrected so far. Overcorrected. If a Correct. if a girl says, "Well, it's not fair," 
she literally gets chastised now. Now she says, well, how dare you talk about him? That's how we, he or she identifies now. Right. So you're not allowed to say what's fair to you. You have to be accommodating to that. You know, it's unfair because about a week ago, I called the social security <clears throat> office and I said to the rep, I identify as a 67 year old male. <laughs> I want my check now. And I got denied. Uh, I got denied. Is I'm it like, crazy? How how can this be possible? Can you exactly. sit unfair? Can you tell you don't stretch out his chair. Wow. <laughs> and, you don't want to sit in his chair. <laughs> no, he told, but he said to tell Tony that. And he said, <laughs> he said why, why are you selling Kermit the Frog if he's from New York? Wow. That was whack. <laughs> No, Precaution. chef. Come on, man. You you usually come harder than that. Dog. Yeah, that, that was that was a bit weak, dog. Yeah, but, that's what you know, happens. Next time be here. House. <laughs> next time be here, and then maybe when you say it, it's funnier. Yeah. but it, maybe Cliff just read it funny. Nah, I'm funny. Exactly how I fuck this up. <laughs> <laughs> you got that very white voice, though. Speak up, son. Damn. I'll tell you my throat. You better get Hold the up. baby chair. Go ahead, man. <sighs> say what you're saying. But. <clears throat> Not too long ago, actually, this weekend, because I took my oldest back to her mom. It was just us three, me, my youngest, my oldest, and, and myself. Pause. And my, and, and my, what? Well, that's not a pause moment. No, pause moment. Oh, okay. And, um. See, there you go, man. He just. Yo. It's, it, it's <laughs> like. Yeah, it, it, it's like Cliff is it, a medium talking to dead people and shit. Right. He like, pause. Where's your Ouija board? You know what I mean? <laughs> go ahead, baby. Damn, bro. <laughs> but you, your, your oldest and your youngest. And it, it, it just gave me a flashback where, when you were saying that when my, my youngest fell on the floor, we're in the house. Mm -hmm. I mean, no danger. And she was on the floor, started crying. And my my oldest, my 13-year-old, was ready to grab her and pick her up and say, it's okay. Mm -hmm. And I stopped her and I said, no, get up you're okay mm -hmm. and 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 my youngest is like with her hand up like come get me i was like right. i was like no get up mm -hmm. you are okay mm -hmm. and she got up and she started walking to me it's like dust yourself off just like this and that's it that's all it was balance and, and balance and my oldest asked me why why didn't you grab her i was like because the world is a tough world if you don't understand to stand up for yourself and be tough as simple as a slip and a fall, guess what the world's gonna have to do to you? I think oh, yeah. I said that just this weekend, bro. Mm -hmm. like, wow. Because for dad's out. job is to teach character and, 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 and strength. And strength and mm -hmm. integrity. We're not here to be nurturing. Right. And women hate to hear that, but it's the truth. You're not. That's not right. what our well, design is to be. Right. For, for me, right. I, I know when there's times for a hug. We know that. And, and, yeah, and, yeah. and a spanking. And, and but that a, comes but, from what? Having a girl, like yeah. I didn't have right. it before. Right. That's true. I right. had to learn that trait. I'm not gonna act right. like I. It was innately in me. It wasn't. I had to have a girl and learn how to dig deep and figure what those empathetic moments are. But when it's not, I'm right. like, so now what you want me to do? Like, I just want to vent. All right, you have your moment. Now look at it, and I'm like, do you want a solution now, or do we yeah. still venting? Because that's why they have to tell me the female. You have to tell me I'm just venting, so I know not to. Cause I'm in solution mode. Yeah. Right. It's like when when a female tells you, oh. How could you? How could you? I'm like, could me? Could what? Right. It's like I, I can't read your mind. What the hell are you talking about? Right. right. You know what I mean? I'm like, what? <clears throat> right. Talk if, to me. And if you take that I mean, mentality, Taylor. right? You take that mentality <clears throat> and you apply it wholly to a single mom raising one or two boys. Right. You know, by themselves, just in a house. She is going to lean on what she knows and what she understands. Now, anything that has the testosterone or the masculine side, she's getting off what she thinks it should be. Just like what, what Cliff was saying. You know, he doesn't know how to do the emotional stuff. He had to learn and he had to be taught right. how to do it. Right. The problem is the fairer species of us, the fairer side, you know, the female side, mm -hmm. they don't believe that they have to learn. They believe that if they feel something, that feeling is now reality. Mm. And it's it's oh, straight up. That's all it is. Nothing else matters. And I hate the words. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I understand it when women say it, but nothing's going to make me cringe more. And I know it's a 
it's a common word in society these days. I'm pregnant. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I know I ain't hearing that. I think it's about to be the word. I think I, I think when I hear that, same word. I, 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 when I hear that one though, yeah. it's because oh man, grandkids on the way. Because it ain't nobody saying that shit to me. Right. <laughs> That's over with. Yeah, but kind of milk. The word <laughs> it poops like a bronze <laughs> smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Too much gold bond. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So the word that drives me nuts, and it's only it, it it makes me like twinge when I hear females say it, but when I hear men say it, like it it absolutely destroys me. I feel, I, I and it's literally a word from society, right? Because it's nothing. If y'all remember y'all childhood, try to think back to a time when you was a kid and you told somebody you feel about something. And I'm not talking about, hey, it's, you feel. it's cold outside. I feel cold. I ain't Put talking about that. Like, yeah. I'm talking about in situations where logic would dictate what's <clears> supposed <throat> to happen. You say, well, I feel that we should do this. I feel we should play kickball. I feel that we should play basketball today. Do you ever remember saying anything remotely no, close to that? Yeah, let's play kickball. Yeah. That's it. I'm and, about to do this. Be assertive. And literally, as <clears throat> young men today... It's part of their vernacular, like it's automatically supposed but to be. Do you think it's a regional thing as well? Like, you know, the way we we all grew up in the Northeast, right? In mm -hmm. New York. But someone who grew up in Wyoming or, or Nebraska would have different views. Yeah. I don't I, think I'm it's, assuming. Or, they, or, or inner in city you know, versus suburbs. In, in city like, versus nah, suburbs. That, that shouldn't be the case. You know what I nah, mean? that's more like accents and, and ways of. Like, you know, in New York, something man, might be, traditions. yo, we might say something's hot and mean it's cool. But you go to Chicago and somebody be like, man, that's cold as hell. But it still means it's cool. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about, well, at least I'm. Yeah. I, I can't speak for you. But I'm talking about using the word to justify a situation. Mm. Women have done that since the dawn of time because that's how they think. They, they think with their emotions. They yeah. think with their feelings. So if... You want to go to a movie, and you're like, yo, I think we should go see this movie, or we should go see this movie. And then a woman comes back and says, well, I feel we should watch something else. That is 100% emotion. She's literally telling you right there, her feelings say that she wants to see this. Mm -hmm. You can't argue with feelings. You can't. You can argue with logic. You can prove and disprove logic all day long. But you can't argue with anybody in this world once they say, I feel something. Because now you're getting into their internal workings. Now you, now and now you get into little funky ass words like, my truth. Yep. No, motherfucker. No, There's no, no such thing as my truth. Oh, the new favorite, which I hate, gaslighting. You're gaslighting. I said, who, what the fuck? There are a bunch of shit back out. I refuse to say that like I refuse to wear skinny ass fucking pants. Don't it's not gonna happen. Me. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not saying it. It doesn't make sense yeah. to me. But that's their slang. I, I get that. Mm -hmm. But the second that men start approaching their their logic with that emotion, like if we see right now and the three of us get into some sort of heated argument, yeah. but it's something that we could solve if we just work it out. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden I say, well, Tone, Cliff, I feel you guys are wrong. How the fuck are you going to argue with me? I don't care how you feel. But that's not an argument. Now you're being dismissive. And now, as an emotional creature, I can catch an attitude with your dismissal. But that's how I come back. We're like, tell me, show me or, or explain why you disagree with me. But that's the thing. Once they say, I feel, they don't have to. Dude, it's it. It's, it's, Trump, it's, it's, it's a Trump card. You exactly. can't beat that. It's, it's exactly. Space. It's, it's a spade. You can't beat it. And I if feel you spade. try, I play dominoes. you got attitude. Yeah. There is now attitude and problems the yeah. whole time. Now she's pouting. Now there's problems in the house. Now she's huffing and puffing. And every all the peace that you had in your house is completely over with. Now, I understand when women do that because I understand that part of our, our divide. That's what gives us balance. You know, the same ones that say, well, I feel would be the same ones that if somebody <coughs> twice the size of her and me breaks up in the house, all of a sudden that feeling is going to be, uh, Mr. Logic, fix that nigga. Like all of a sudden, you know, it's not gonna fix it. Exactly. Yeah. It's it's no longer what you feel. Now it's oh okay, now I'm the damsel in distress. Like uh get rid of this guy who just broke into I our feel house. Unsafe. And there you go. Now you gotta fix it. 
And see, with so I get that with them. I don't get it that they have now started to instill that into male youth. Like, if you listen to young rappers or young people on social media, I mean, they throw it around as if it's water out of the out of the faucet. Well, I feel like we should actually think about this. Or I feel that we should. Well, I feel that. And it's crazy. Because as yeah. a man, you're not supposed to think that way. Yeah. You're, you're not genetically built to think that way. Like you were saying before. You have to be taught that type of behavior. It's not in you as a man to automatically do that. And typically a single mom household. Right. And like I said, it was our generation that yeah. started this whole, I'm the mama and the father. No, you're not. There is no possible way that you can be a father to a child. Correct. You are not genetically equipped to be a father to a child. You're just not built for it. Even if you're a stud? <laughs> Yo, the fade and the vest and the cardigans might get you there as and far the as the looks. Chain in the ring, pinky but ring. in here, yeah, and just outside of in here, yeah. might. <laughs> yeah, you about to have book bags thrown at your ass. <laughs> yo, I'm a big yo, yo. They throw it if they win. <laughs> what you I, say? I feel like I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for the. <laughs> That's going to fix everything. Yeah. But, nah, I mean, it's just... <laughs> you just play it. I'm the real thing. Nah, let me... Okay, let me chill. But, no, He's I... Like, once a Marine, always a Marine. Hey, <laughs> that's why I eat crayons. Blue is the best. <laughs> Shout out to them blues, because they taste delicious. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no, but, you know, it's... It, it's... Uh, it, it, it drives me nuts to, to see that. And I know where the line is. The yeah. problem is, I have an idea of how we can get back, but society is not going to allow it. Because society likes where this is going right now. Because it's safe and it's comfortable. And it's like, uh, for I instance, just no choice. Two, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, I was watching a clip <laughs> of, um, y'all remember Mr. Robinson's Neighborhood? Hmm. The original. And my man was singing a song about a boy is a boy, a girl is a girl, right? And a boy can't be a girl, and a girl can't be a boy. And he's, he's doing like his yeah. Would You Be My Neighbor yeah. type song with, with one of those. So I'm like, you know what? <coughs> I'm asking for it. Let me press that comments button and see what's going on. Yeah. These people was ripping Mr. Rogers as if he said it yesterday. Uh, Who's a minister, man? the same thing to uh, Aretha Franklin with I'm Natural Woman. Trans community is you saying... You see what I'm saying? Is, who, how dare she talks about it. And these people woman. are dead! Like, what do you... <laughs> you want See, them to come back to apologize to you? woman. What? You put a this is the problem with society right now. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So, so what do we do to fix it? It's too Time far. machine, bro. Time machine. It's too far. I like that. Time machine. Bro. I personally was going to say, tell Elon Musk to make me a rocket. I'm going to Mars, man. Yeah. I'm out of here. <clears throat> this one's broke. Yeah. <laughs> all, all alpha males. <laughs> yeah. Roll up. Send, send me somewhere where shit ain't broke. This is horrible, man. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how I can survive in this world. And I'm getting worse and worse. The older I get, the more resentful and the more rebellious I get to the regime. Especially it when they call me. my... my my era of hip hop old school. That pisses me off. <laughs> yeah, nobody listens to that old stuff. Dude. I'm like, damn, bro. This is the best era, right? Eh? 36 Chambers, Biggie Small, come oh, on. Buster. I don't know, no rapper that I would think, oh, 20 years from now, this shit's gonna age well. No. No. You know why? Because it's going, meh, 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 Remember when you used to open up the source and it was a hip hop quotable? Like, yo. Yeah. Or you, my favorite thing is, did that nigga just say that at Rewind? It's never been anybody that's talked, said something besides Cole, Kendrick, uh. And some Drake. Yeah. That make you say, oh, shit, you go play that shit back. Nobody, Jada Kiss, niggas like that. But Jada nobody, woo, that's, nobody's that's making you want to re, 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 rewind shit you say. Or oh, did you hear this shit? Nah, it's not up. Like I'm saying, but that's of our yeah, era, that's right? Ours. I'm saying, right. That's, I'm talking about little the, Wayne, the little. Now that's that's he's still our ours. era. He's like Generation uh, Y. Yeah. He's pre millennial. He's like X Y. Right. So okay. he just happens to have longevity, but he longevity. started. Yeah, he started when he was young. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. So that's true. these the babies and the the. the 
the, the this to the that. I just want to rock. Yeah. Little rules. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good rock every time. That's my shit, though. You know what's crazy, though? And I be feeling like an asshole when they be like, in today's news, such and such rapper, such and such died. And I be like, Woo! Woo! Exactly! You don't know him? 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, he died so soon. They in the comments. His music was so inspirational. It changed my life. I'm going, like, bitch, what? Right. You had what a song? one block radius. Right. <laughs> like, where <laughs> was your life, nigga? You know what I mean? What are you talking about? Yeah. Yo, you take Odo Tune <clears throat> off these rappers of this generation, it'll be trash. 90% of them is all Odo Tune, man. It's not even just Odo Tune. It's they just they talk. don't. They, they, they have, have no more content. lyrics, no right. content, no storytelling. Nothing. All the right. beats sound the same right. to me. I'm like, look, I right. understand your generation of mumble rap, it's hip hop, but put it into a different category. It's you know rap. what I mean? It, it, it's not hip hop. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's mumble rap. Hip-hop Call it mumble rap. It's movement. It's yeah. rap. It's, it's mumble rap. Rap is the stuff you get paid for. Right. Hip hop <laughs> is what you live. KRS one quotable. Ooh. <laughs> Copyrights <laughs> reserved. Yeah, I just listened to that Uzi verse shit last night because they played that I was and there's no real lyrics in this shit. Yeah. See, I don't like, understand and I, that, and I never do that until I play the whole yeah, thing. Yeah. I said, this is some bullshit. Like, hey, I song? heard that today when I was taking my, my, <laughs> my so oldest to Publix and this. she's like, oh, I like this song. I'm like, okay, let me, let me, it's what nothing. are they talking about? What's the story? She's like, what do you mean the story? I'm like, what's the story that he's trying to say with the, with the music? Don't have no message. There's no message. It's just words and, I, and little beats. I get a subliminal message. It makes my gas pedal go down faster. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of music you you no, hear you, you hear it at the strip club. That it'd be like, yeah. oh, okay, but that's fine. But that's not hip hop. Right. But these kids don't know hip hop. They don't care about it. They don't. Even that's why it's all numbers. considered old school rap. Yeah. In fact, I just got attacked this past weekend fine. by my niece and my great niece. Shout out to Peanut. So, we're sitting in, the, in my office, and she just comes up to me, and she's like, oh, my God, Uncle Mal, you're old. And I'm like, what is you talking about? No karate chop right away? Like, Well, I, I, I had to see what she was talking about. Okay. You know what this little thing said to me? You were alive when Tupac was alive? Mm-hmm. She she caught the word, dog, and I had to apologize. You said caught like, the I was, word. Like, I was like, bitch, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So like, I'm sorry. But you, why are you, are you kidding me? Wow. Tupac just died like, and she was <laughs> like, years ago. And I'm like. Before she was born. Yeah. Yeah. And Biggie. I was like, oh my God, it's been that long. And then they, yo, her <clears throat> and Rennie, my great niece, they just started going in on me and I couldn't say anything. It was horrible. They was like, so, wait a minute. So, so were you alive when Michael Jackson was alive? I'm like, y'all need to get the hell about my own. <laughs> that was Michael Jackson. Wow. <laughs> you were alive when he was still a little brown skin. <laughs> right. Uh, wow. They, yo, they was going ham. And then they... Were you really alive with Rosa Parks? Nick, wow. okay, now y'all, now y'all playing with me. Now wow. y'all playing with me. No, I'm like, no, that, that was yeah, your Yeah, I think Rosa Parks did die in the 80s, though. So, yeah. technically, yeah, but, I mean, damn. Not when she first got acknowledged. Not the first right, bus. Right, not right, the first bus. Right. right, not when she said, no, I ain't getting up. She had a couple right. seats by the time I knew who it But, <laughs> it was like, wow. So, you actually knew life before the internet? <laughs> yes, Hell go play yeah. outside. I'm like, I outside. hate y'all. Kick ball, <laughs> kick the can, whip, wiffle ball. Sure do. And they're like, well, we go outside. For Wi-Fi. We just go outside, that. look yeah. up, and then point our phone at the sky looking for a signal. <laughs> and that's outside for for the kids now. <laughs> where, where, where's the signal so I can <laughs> use my phone? Yeah, man. But so goes life. Yeah, we can go for hours in this topic, man, uh, because it cool. angers me, too. Yeah. But instead of doing that, (laughs) ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time. Here we go. Would you rather, for those who don't know the rules, I'm going to give the fellas a couple of scenarios. When I give them the scenarios, (sighs) (laughs) yes, indeed. I'm like, woo! When I give them the scenarios, they have to pick an answer. They have to pick one side or the other. 
They have to give a reason why they're picking it. They can't choose, oh, just kill me. They can't choose, I'm not going to do it. You got to pick one. All right? He's talking to you, Cliff. He's talking to you. <laughs> I answer mine. I answer mine too? Nigga, do the mic like I don't answer mine. Get a little closer. I can't hear you. I answer. Oh, Every go. single one. Let's go. All right. We go. Okay. Okay, you go first. We, we go go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, God. <All> right. <laughs> <laughs> Big Tone. Yeah. Comedian CJ Travels. Would you rather... Spend the rest of your life with a stoma and a speaker box that shoots sperm down your throat every third word. Hold on, let me Google what a stoma. We just talk is. about the type of shit you just said. Oh. <laughs> we're talking about Generation X and oh. Y and shit. Now we're talking about sperm it's and stoma. It's Gully time. It's Gully time. Or, <laughs> oh my God, yeah, I'm horrible. Have your penis cut in half long ways. And half goes in your ass, and half in the chick during sex for the rest of your life. What? Why? <laughs> Why it has to go in my ass? And the chick. What hey, the in my defense, we just talked about what we discussed was was after these were read. I can't help what's already on the paper, baby. Okay. Yes, you know again. You read. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay. Right. What was again. the first part again? Again. Would you rather? One and fucked up two. <laughs> would you rather spend the rest of your life with a stoma? You know what a stoma is. No. That's when they put the, the hole in your throat no. because you got <laughs> throat cancer. <laughs> and the speaker box. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> spend the rest of your life with a stoma and a speaker box, and the speaker box shoots sperm down your throat every third word that you say. It or. Huh? You can't talk. You can. You can say two words and then shut the hell up. <laughs> the third word, you got to you get a little juicy juice. It'll go down like mucus. <laughs> it sure would. <laughs> and you end up pregnant as a dude. So. <laughs> wrong anyway. generation. Wrong generation. <laughs> okay. So, uh, life with a stoma and a speak box that shoots sperm down your throat every third word. Or have your penis cut in half <laughs> long ways and half goes in your ass. And the other half goes in the girl every time you have sex for the rest of your life. I mean, after you just said, you know, get a cheat code, I'm going to say the two words and stop. <laughs> for life? Yeah. Because when you come back, it don't matter if it's a week later. When you come back and say, hey, boo. <laughs> you said every third word. So I every, call, for I'll life. Pause. She lied. For life. Uh-huh. Saw her. Uh-huh. And then when your daughter says, Those daddy, lights. can I use the car? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta say more than two words at the time. Yeah, but it's whenever you finally say that third word, because it's for life. So it's not like you say two words and then wait three oh days. Yeah, you don't even have to be a text. I'm texting. I have a text. So you're gonna take the stoma that that shoots. I ain't say that. I'm just talking. And bad enough, about and every other, every two words gonna be like, yo, dog. <laughs> 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 I, 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 mean, I was just helping him no, with his. I was just saying, yeah, I'm, 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 I'll take the text. That that's what I'm <laughs> and other ways to communicate. <laughs> I learn sign language. Yeah, I do have children. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. I learn sign language. My kids. Uh huh. And kids gonna be like, I can't hear you, daddy. Yeah. And walk they the fuck off. Mm, mumble. Good <laughs> <laughs> boy, you got. <laughs> and then all your kid gonna do is this. <laughs> you be hmm. Daddy if you want something You gotta say something <clears throat> I'll write on the board See knowing Cliff He'll be smashing some chick And say <laughs> Who thick is this And the sperm will pop out He'll squirt out right On the fucking neck She be like what the what hell What the hell Why is it yellow <laughs> Okay so both of y'all taking a stoma? No, I ain't saying that. Oh, okay. I him. That was so you taking a stoma and hoping you never say a third word, word right. in life? Yep. I'm going to find other ways to communicate. <laughs> With everybody. Yep. Your job is going to let you just stop talking to people. I think I, showed, I type it and show them the screen. <laughs> Yo, do you want this loan? What, what, what about them calls? 
T.T.Y. Right. T.T.Y. son. That's what emails are for. I'm looking for email. Hey, I was just calling you to see if you want this call long. You're going to be unemployed and quiet. That's what's going to happen. Sooner or later, you're going to have to say that third word. All right, on paper. After about, after about what, 300 words... That's about what thirty squares. You get used to it. No, hell no, I'll never get. You just spit it up like Flynn. You just <coughs> no. now you're a spitter. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> you don't want to be a swallower. You be a spitter. I'm commu- it's a thousand ways to communicate. This is technology <laughs> for making it easier for me. All right, big tone. Don't be googling. Don't be looking up. Yo, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, no. That's, yeah. my, that's my daughter. Big Toad over here trying to look up the, the right answer. Right. No, 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 no. Oh, the phone. This, this is my daughter. But I was the first, that. The first thing she said, yeah, like, I I feel, shit. like, I feel. Like, I feel. We were just talking about that. 13-year-old. I tell you. Now, what's your answer, bro? You didn't get out of it. B. So you're going to have your stuff <laughs> sliced in half. Okay, One yes. half going up your booty. Another half. Every time you have sex, going to girl and... You just yep. get it both ways. It's going to help my that prostate. prostate. That's right. It's going to help my prostate. It's going to help more than that. It's going to high pitch tone. It's my own. It's my own booty. It's not someone else's. I know what goes in and out. I I use seven days cleanse every other month, son. I, I make sure before I have sex, no corn that, that week. You know what I mean? <laughs> No corn, nothing hard. You uh, good? Seven day oh. cleanse. Oh God! All right, next one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm realistic. This fool said he ain't never gonna talk again. <laughs> Got sperm in his throat. Twenty four seven. I'm going, I'm going to find other ways to communicate. That's what I said. Ooh, Not God. realistic, son. And fucking oh. and, ch- and getting what your dick in your ass at the same time is realistic. It's, it's my own. It don't matter. You're not going to fucking complete that mission. I'm just proud that I'll be that big. No. I'm like, you made it back there. Woohoo. <laughs> okay. She winning. You know, half a dick. <laughs> she like, you half dick, motherfucker. Hey. Like, you're like, ooh, are you here, please? Why well, I'm getting please, too, motherfucker? You're going to have a hot dog. You're going right. to get hard. Exactly. Motherfucker just swaying in the air. If fucking a breeze to make that shit go soft, like get the fuck cheese gonna be happy. So all about the angles. No. You gotta know what the cheese about. No angles. <laughs> yes, that is. No fucking perpendicular <laughs> penis. No <laughs> <laughs> fucking flaccid snare pickle. Fucking <laughs> shit going inside her like this. Hey, bitch, turn sideways so I can put it in correctly. At least it's kosher. <laughs> it's kosher. <laughs> When you get hard, when you get hard, that shit act like the Grinch hair. Just... <laughs> that nigga dick all look like one of them fucking car lots. One of the fucking dick. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. I'll pass. Y'all stupid. You see all this time you just talked and laughed? You would have had cum in your throat. <laughs> <laughs> You be like, go, 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 go. Get the hell out of here, bro. You can't even laugh, son. Whatever. <laughs> oh, Ma- imagine if he's yeah, coughing. That was nasty. Imagine he's coughing. Oh, that's not phlegm, son. Uh, <coughs> that's not phlegm. <laughs> you see right there? Right there. See, it just happened. You are stupid, All right, sir. Man, man. Oh. It's past his bedtime. Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You retarded. Okay. <laughs> okay. Breathe, man. Breathe. All right. I'm going to be real easy this time, for real. For real this time. All right, would you rather... He said that last time. Nah, I always say that, but this yeah. time you'll okay. see it is. Would you rather have been born without arms and just hands or born <laughs> without legs and just feet? So either, would you rather no have arms, been born with no there. arms and just hands, there you go, or without legs and just feet? So either like E.T., where the feet are like just part of your your torso, or with your arms coming out of your shoulders. It sounds like you trying to body shame him, man. That's not right. Nigga, that's your. You closer to that shit than I am. Motherfucker, grimace looking. Come on, man. You body shaming. You the one with the arms closer to that shit than I am. Damn. <laughs> got Barney, Barney arms gonna talk about body shaming. Now you showing your age. No. Nope. This generation don't know who Barney is. They know. Who oh, Barney is. They, re- they reboot everything. This generation. Yeah, reboots Barney's it. different. They don't do now. Nothing. 
All right. He's a Power don't, Ranger. Don't don't get off the answers now, fellas. Which ones you want? This is an easy one. Yeah, I mean, that come was on. Easy. That's too easy, though, man. That was not easy. You see what I'm saying? That see, that's why I'm not doing this shit no more yeah. right now. I ain't taking I'm it easy. That, shit it, it, see? that was too easy. See? Next week, back to the booty. No, 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 no. It don't have to get back. No, it's going that far. I got on or off, dog. Stream or not? On or off. Watch CNN or something, man. This was a Uh-uh. Nah. He don't do that. I'm taking the hand shit. Let's go. 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 let Boy, your days of masturbating are over with. That's fine. I want to be able to drive and do other shit. Cause I How you going to drive like this, son? <laughs> How you going to drive? I can't do it if my legs are short and shit like that. What, what I'm going to do? Bro, this, this car yeah, they that got they cars made, that have pedals with your pedals hands. Your hands. Like for uh, people in wheelchairs. That's how they drive. Exactly. Since society has improved for folks who are uh, challenged in the walking, uh, like you said, mm-hmm. driving and your other arms going to be dragging on the floor with your fucking feet. <laughs> <laughs> you that is true you too. Your dick dragging on the floor. <laughs> you can stab to your dick. Your fucking that's you true. Yeah, he doesn't understand. They got those fake legs, son. Chop he my didn't little. say that shit. He just said you got feet. You gotta know how to think, son. Generation how, X. How, how, what do you want to put legs on the bottom of your feet? What are you gonna yeah. send it to? You got, you, you got <laughs> hip phone, yeah. hip phone and leg and feet. Chop it off. <laughs> What do you mean, hip? Okay, Why like, do I need my hip for if I'm not walking no more? <laughs> I'm saying, you know, whatever this bone hip. is, and fucking feet. You're not yeah. going to have none of that shit. And your fuck, your, your, your dick is hitting the floor, literally dragging. Bro, Why I, you fucking... like a Barney tail. Right. <laughs> watch, watch the news once in a while, especially on the technology side. Mofos are walking like robotics, like Robocop and shit. You talking about the Blade Runner joints? No, I'm talking about the I don't care. The tink tinks. Like, <laughs> leaving sparks every time you go. How, how you gonna put? How are you? Are you? How are you gonna attach that to the bottom of your feet though? Because remember, your feet are there. I'm right? not the scientist, bro. I don't know. Your arms is gonna be on the floor. I don't know what's gonna be done. I ain't got to answer that. I'll get paid to answer Exactly. Your arms is regular size, so the motherfuckers dragging behind you like this, getting like scabbed. Yeah, come on, nigga. You're not thinking this shit out. You gotta fucking propel yourself with your legs. With your arms. <laughs> My ribs hurt, man. That's what he's walking. They wave to motherfuckers like this. Let me get niggas the middle finger like this. I'm a finger pop, bitch. It's like, hey, come to my middle arm, bitch. Come on. Yo, he has to shift his whole body. How you like that? Yeah, hit the spot. Yeah. Bring a friend, too. Bring your friend. Bring some. He can't even smell it. He's like... <laughs> he can't even smell if it's good or not. Come on, son. That's, that, that ain't right. Your bathroom gonna have piss all over the place. You can't hold that shit. You no, he's gonna have to sit. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta sit on the toilet. That's How do you get it in the toilet? You just pee it on the floor. You, you, got, you gotta scoop. My shit you gotta scoop. Have scabs you gotta on dip. the fucking dragon on the floor from, from walking. Though. <laughs> so, uh, it's called rollerblades. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, no. Your, your shit gonna have hard ass calves on the bottom of your phone. Whatever, son. They ain't smashing my calves. Yo, they ain't smashing you. Like, you can't even get up to the coochie, dog. At she all. get it doggy style, you be like, I can't reach. Right. Use them long arms. <laughs> How you gonna get it up there to where she at? I'm in the bottom. All the time. It is what it is. <laughs> and then she like... Move your feet, they're digging into my legs. Exactly. <laughs> your feet be sticking straight. She's straddling your fucking chest. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so we got one one taking the hands with no arms and the other taking the feet with no legs. <clears throat> wow. I can't wait to read the comments on this one. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. Sending mad love to the African nations, oh. Europeans <clears throat> who watches this. Ooh, nah, that one's an intellectual. I'm going to leave that one. Ooh. Okay. He ain't that smart, right? Here we go. Oh, no, no. It's... Uh, Long-winded. I want this one. Okay. All right. Would you rather have your... <laughs> what is the, the third one be the worst one. <laughs> he revs it up it's like an engine. Blood, yeah, it's drugs, AIDS, right, STDs, something. None oh, of that. pinky. None of that. None of that on this one, but it's still just as bad. Okay. All right. Would you rather <clears throat> have... All your naked picture, pictures you ever took 
sent to your mom, dad, and kids, or have all of them posted on all your social media, unable to take off social media, and pics are unremovable or deleted. To my family. If you send it to the family, they're still gonna post it. They don't have to. They good. They will. It's mom, dad, so and kids. Your family. That makes no sense because at the end of the day, if you're gonna send it to your family, they're gonna see it. He said. It, if you go part B, they're still gonna see it. No, because they may not have to post it. They don't mean they're necessarily gonna post no, it. No, no. He said if you do part B, which is it goes on social media. They're gonna see it on social media. Either way, getting it. My mom, what? Your mom, mom your dad, dad. my dad, and your kids. And uh huh. And my kids, my kids don't have no phone. I'm good. Uh, it's harassment. No, no. When I see it today, (laughs) but then I see it sooner or later. Remember, undeletable, unremovable. So all they gotta do is Google daddy. (laughs) Yeah. And you out there? They don't see your picture next to the Ewoks and shit. Be like, oh, there he is. Family to and make threaten them not to post. <laughs> Don't you the, dare! The family, I guess. The family. I'm, I'm with you. I'm not yeah. going with the fucking posting shit. It's business. It's, it's not removable. That should go without saying. You know that shit. It's, it's there forever. So, yeah. yeah, I'm going with my family. I don't have to see the family every day. Yeah. <laughs> you know you ain't got to see your kids Better every not post. day no more. No. It's going to text me. Right. That's exactly what they do, too. You yeah. know why? I go like this. I feel. <laughs> I start off with that. Right. They can't argue with it. I feel like I don't want to be on the internet naked. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna bust your ass if you put it up there. I feel like you'll get your face. Like, You're stupid. I'm saying I'm not. Yeah, I'm going with the family. Oh, that was. A, I'm going with that decision. Family. It so is. both y'all going with family. Family. Is. Yep. Okay. What about you? Huh? He don't answer long shit. Hey, I'm that's, jigsaw. That's wrong, man. No, it's not. It's, old, that, that, it's my yeah. game. No, I like, like to play the game. We would love to get that feedback. Yeah, he'll never want to. Stop with that. <laughs> Start your own game. Make your own rules. <laughs> I, I have absolute <clears throat> liberty and freedom to come up with these because I don't have to answer them. <laughs> I would probably scale back if I had to answer it too. And that's not what the people want. Ladies and gentlemen, that's not what you want. That's yeah. not what I want. I need y'all to put in the comments, how this nigga answer it too, so he do it. <laughs> like, subscribe, like, share. Subscribe. <laughs> tell him to answer it too. I tell you what, I'm not going to answer questions. <laughs> Discrimination. If it, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe if we get enough, I'll do it, but I don't know. But um, yeah. He won't tell him. That was the last I one? Or you got one more? No, no, no. It's That's it? It's three of them. Oh, okay. You survived. Um, last one just to recap. Last one was worse. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to look out for y'all. Y'all, y'all <laughs> complaining and crying. It's always about penis and crying. Y'all be creative, and, man. You still did one. You still did one. Still, yeah. 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 yeah just, just to remind y'all that it's there. You know what I'm you saying? Don't need no reminder. We see a you know what I'm saying? List. Even if even if LeBron only scores, you know, 25 in the game. Right. Every so often he gotta hit you with that 55 just so you know it's still there. Don't test it. It's still there. Don't be clowning because you think you got over by me only deciding to get you 25. That's all that was. Okay. All right. Gentlemen, wow. thanks for playing. No, we appreciate this it. This was brother. fun. That was good. And ladies and gentlemen, without any other Objections? Anybody got anything? All right. We can wrap this week up for the Beard of Kings. I am and have always been King Bear in the building, joined by... Comedian CJ Trowers. What's up? Heavy Duty Cutie. <laughs> Heavy Duty Cutie in Big the tone. building. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents. We'll catch you on the next one. What'd you say you mumbled? What? I said, Jesus Christ, man. Don't what he has? Don't y'all ever. <laughs> Don't body shape me. That shit sounds I'm body like shaped. a BBW fucking profile <laughs> bio. He had to get it in there. That shit is crazy. But I Are you against the BBWs? I love That's them. That's what you're saying? I love them. Yeah? I love them. You sure? Very much so. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's not like the alphabet people. No, 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 no. They, they you know love them too? Okay. Not what? <laughs> the <That> show. <laughs> <laughs> We gonna get him. We gonna get him. All right. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to check you on the next one. We out of here. Much love. All right. Peace. Peace.